All right, in this video, I'm going to be upgrading my early 2006 Mac Pro to 32 gigs of RAM. So right here we have uh, six four gigabyte DDR2 ECC memory modules. And basically what I'm just going to be doing is adding these memory modules to the two four gig modules I currently have installed and removing the four one gigabyte modules that originally came with the machine. So what I'm just going to go ahead and do now is uh, open up the machine. I think I can do this with one hand. So go ahead and open it up. Set that over there. And uh, just go ahead and remove the uh, memory uh, riser boards. I should probably use two hands for this, but um, just going to use one for now. So the first thing we're just going to need to do is pop out all these memory modules. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll probably just go ahead and do that off camera and then just resume the video uh, once I get all these modules out. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I have just removed all the uh, older memory modules and I've just gone ahead and installed uh, the new memory modules. And uh, one thing that is different about these as opposed to the originals, uh, it should be pretty obvious, uh, the originals uh, have quite a large heatsink on them, whereas the new modules have a very thin heatsink. Now, I don't think this should cause any issues because these are designed to run in servers, which themselves run pretty hot. So I think if I if I just put these, these uh, memory modules in like they are, uh, I think they should work perfectly fine. Uh, I think I can check the temperatures within OS X and, uh, and see what they're running at, but uh, I think they should work perfectly fine. Now one thing I forgot to mention before is I got uh, these memory modules, uh, all except these two, uh, off eBay for only $21. And that was $21 for 24 gigs of RAM because I already had two 4 gigabyte modules uh, that I had spare. So I basically just paid $21 to get a total of 32 gigs of RAM in this Mac Pro. So I think that was a pretty good deal. So now what I'll go ahead and do is just reinstall uh, the memory modules, or the memory risers. There's one. And there's the second one. So now I'll just go ahead and put the side panel on the machine. And go ahead and boot it up. Let's see if it shines. Alright, good, we have a chime. So let me just go over to my monitor and we'll see what happens when it boots up. Alright, so the machine has just booted up, so I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And so far the machine appears to be working perfectly fine. So let's see if all 32 gigs of RAM are detected. And it looks like they are. So now we have 32 gigs of RAM in this machine. As you can see, uh, it detects all eight four gig modules. So yeah, that is a total of 32 gigs. Uh, let's just go ahead into uh, activity monitor and let's see uh, how much memory is being used. So yeah, as you can see, the memory pressure is extremely low. Uh, only uh, 2.84 gigs is currently being used. So yeah, that's a pretty good upgrade, I think. Uh, I shouldn't have any issues with memory for quite some time with 32 gigs, which is, which actually is pretty overkill for, for what I do on this machine. But hey, I guess for $21, there's really no reason to up to not upgrade. So I'll go ahead and quit that. So let's just go into um, hardware monitor here. We can check the uh, temperatures. All right, so uh, it looks like only two memory modules are actually. Uh, being detected. They must be the only two that have thermal sensors. Uh, these two are the two um, the two I had spare which are a different type of module than the or 
they're a different brand of module than the other ones I installed, but uh, they're both the same type of memory, of course, or it wouldn't work. But uh, as you can see, they aren't running too hot right now. Uh, the One of them is running at 63 degrees Celsius, and the other is running at 61. And for ECC memory, that is definitely not too bad. So uh, I guess I'll just go ahead and use the machine a bit and see what they uh, they get to uh, after they've uh, stabilized in temperature because of course the machine hasn't been on that long so um, overall I think this is a, a successful upgrade and it should be very I guess a decent upgrade and improve the performance of the machine quite a bit so um, yeah that is the 32 gigs of RAM or that is the upgrade of my Mac, my early 2006 Mac Pro to 32 gigs of, of RAM. Hope you enjoyed this video.